What's up guys? I'm just a gamer and I'm back with another video. Uh, real quick, I just want to say that I know apologies for my hair. I know it's just, there's not much up there, but I'm in need of a haircut regardless. It's just, I haven't had a chance to get one. So apologies for my <laughs> crazy ass hair. And then also, if you're a person who doesn't really care about romance and video games or you don't see the need for it, you're just not a fan of it in general, like, this is, this is not the video for you. Let me just say it off the bat because this is just me stating my feelings and how I believe the last few Bioware games, when it comes to their, like, companions and their romance, they've just really not been up to snuff. And Veilguard, I'm hoping for it, I'm holding for it, but I don't know, I just... I'm really worried about it. My main problem with Bioware romances lately is just that they've made them too easy. Ever since Dragon Age 2 and the introduction of the, um, the dialogue wheel or like the tone wheel, I forget what they called it, but basically it tells you the tone you're going to say the dialogue in. And I, I thought that was fine. I think it's like with general gameplay story wise, I think it's okay. Even though there are some times when like the dialogue doesn't really match the tone or like whatever state said like texted I, it's sometimes a tit or miss with that dialogue matching the tone it's whatever but my main problem with it was the fact that they gave you a designated romance option look for the heart it's like you took the very concept of trying to get to know your character and learn about them and you boiled it down to look for the heart option like at least with KOTOR and Dragon Age Origins, you know, you had these conversations and there was no designated here. This option helps your, you know, progress with that character's relationship, maybe towards romance. There was none of that. You just had to make the option you thought was best, what you wanted, and hoped you guys were compatible. But now it's, that's gone. All you gotta do is look for the heart. Look, look for the heart. That's all you gotta do. You don't have to worry about anything else about their conversation. You don't have to worry about anything else about their personality. Look for the heart. Pick that every, talk to them and pick that every time and you're good. You're fine. You're golden. And it's just, it's just like, there's like no effort going into like, the, the player has to put like no effort into the relationship or to try to progress with this companion. And that's what really bums me out. And that's my biggest fear with Veilguard, that the romances aren't going to feel earned or rewarding just for the simple fact of they were just so simple just every time i talk to you pick the hard option that's it i mean at least with uh inquisition and andromeda there were some characters with sexual preferences you know some were gay some were lesbian and you had to be a man or a woman to you know deepen that relationship but they've done away with that they've made every character in the veil guard pansexual or open gender i forget the term forgive me and I know in real life there are bisexuals, pansexuals, whatever. But to make every character that is ridiculous, and in my opinion, it lessens their characters. Because, again, in Inquisition, those characters, I believe Dorian and Sarah, by them being gay and lesbian, it helped shape their personalities. It helped differentiate them from the other characters. And that was a good thing that was a great thing and by taking that away from the characters in Veilguard I feel like they're lessening their personalities because if you were to ask any person in the LBGTQ community like what their sexuality you know what it means to them a majority of them if not all of them would probably say it's an important part of them it's an it's it helps define them and so, for them to just dumb it down, dumb relationships down, in my opinion, by making every character pansexual is kind of like again, it's weak. It it feel if it, it doesn't feel like the games like you're it, like you have, don't have to put in the effort to like really romance these characters because again, all you have to do is pick the hard option every time you talk to them. There's, there's nothing else you have to do. Nothing else. And it's just disheartening. Because it's just like, again, I go back to KOTOR, I go back to Dragon Age Origins, and just seeing these, like trying to just, hey, I really like to get to know this character, I really want to know him more, 
Like, I really like them. I would like to romance them. Let me see if it's possible. Gonna go for it. Nope, didn't turn out. Didn't work. Okay, bummer. Oh, it's, it worked out. She does like me back. Awesome. We don't... We don't need... It, it, it's not like... We just pick the hard option. Guaranteed love. Awesome. Great. Like, we as gamers don't have to put any effort into the relationship. And it's just... Again, I know I'm repeating myself, but it's just so dumb to me. And, again, this is not... I'm, I'm not trying to bash or go in on Veilguard specifically. This is my problem with Bioware romances in general lately. Because, uh, again, it's Inquisition, Andromeda, they were like this too. And, um, again, I those were... Again, because they had those sexual preferences, like that was something, some type of obstacle that we could try to overcome. But even then, it's like, pick this option to romance. It just felt too easy. It didn't feel earned. Because we could literally just skip every option and just pick the heart every time. You know? And that's why I think... Because I know people would say, what about Baldur's Gate 3? Every companion in there is uh, pansexual or, or open gender or whatever the term. Um, and yeah, it works in that game for the fact that, unlike Bioware, there's no dialogue wheel. All the conversation choices, there's no indicator saying, hey, this is the romance option. You literally have to converse with your characters, learn about them, their wants, their needs, their likes, their dislikes. And you have to like work for that relationship to progress. And okay, let's be for real though. Before the game was patched, like when the game first came out, there was a bug that made every character fall in love with you in like the first conversation. <laughs> and so it was like a really big joke with the fact that like you can basically sleep with every character within like the first hour of the game. I've even seen like sex speed runs where like the fastest like the fastest time to like sleep with a character it was it's a whole big thing and it was dumb and it's still it's, it's still going on to now but again it works because even like after the patch you have to get to know these characters you have to talk to them and things can go the opposite direction you can end up making them dislike you uh, you they can end up leaving the party they can end up fighting the party like you know your conversations and what you say matters while in bioware games hard option automatic win automatic love and it's just there's it doesn't feel earned but yeah to wrap things up again i did not mean to go in on veil guard like i did uh i was just it was just, this was supposed to be about bioware games in general and how they're just making romancing your companions way too easy there's just like no thought process really going into it and even more so now with veil guard because the you know there's no <laughs> there's no personality no i wouldn't say there's no personality but there's like no when it comes to romance there's no personality let's put it that way when it comes to romance they don't have personality and it's just that's my main problem so like because yeah going into veil guard you look good hard option every time that's my fear maybe i'm wrong maybe i am praying i'm hoping i'm wrong and it's not going to be that easy maybe your actions will dictate things that they'll love and hate and you know maybe picking the romance option won't be enough that's my hope because again it's the bioware in general problem with their recent romances that have been just the romances that haven't feel earned and in general they just feel like they feel dumbed down they feel like quick easy yeah there you go good and yeah i remember when they're the romance the characters they felt more they meant more but yeah those are my thoughts that's my opinion i just wanted to get that out there if you agree or disagree just leave let me know in the comments down below i'd appreciate any and all feedback uh, if you enjoyed this video please leave a like uh, i really appreciate that uh, consider subscribing 
Uh, I'm streaming on Twitch, so please consider following me there at twitch.tv slash justagamerink, all together in word, or you can click the link below. But yeah, man, I again apologize. I went ranting on this. I just wanted to get my thoughts on there. And again, if you have any differing thoughts, similar thoughts, let me know in the comments down below. I'd, I'd love to hear from you. But anyway, thanks for watching, and until next time, take care and have a good game.